What's going on guys, Jack here and today we're going to be taking a look at something you guys have been asking a lot about in the comments and this is something that I wasn't completely sure on until I had to look into it and I realized on T Public that a lot of my designs, even though I was making sales, a lot of them are not searchable in the marketplace. Some of them are, so my Google Analytics are getting views, but a lot of my designs are not searchable in the marketplace when I go try to find them or at least I cannot find them even the very niche down ones with pretty much no result I cannot find them so what I am going to show you guys today is how you can make your design searchable and this is a combination of information that I've kind of been around the web I've looked at a few solutions and this is what I found and I'm going to share with you guys because there are a lot of different things people suggest, but I'm going to pack it all into this video and try to get your guys' designs on the marketplace ASAP. But before we get into the good stuff, if you guys are new to my channel, my name's Jack and I talk about print on demand and making money online. I also have been documenting my online entrepreneurship journey. So if you want to follow along, consider subscribing, tapping the bell, and if you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like. It means a lot. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So I know a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys don't get your designs in the marketplace, but before we get into the fixes, I want to make sure that you guys have your designs copyright free and you're not infringing on anyone's name or anything like that. So to do this, you basically take the name of your design, the words in your design, or the saying or kind of things that are related in your tags. So if you're going to be making a design about like a celebrity like Will Smith, obviously if you look it up here, it might not show up because it's not really a trademark, it might not be registered, and it's not, but it's someone's name and someone's brand, so you need to be aware of when you're ripping off someone's name or someone's brand. Honestly, it can happen, sometimes you kind of write something and you're like, oh, I came up with that, but it can be trademarked, so you want to go over here and double check, like let's say, oh, just do it, I love that saying, I came up with that myself and they go and search it up there's a live trademark and if the, if you look it up on this tool which I'll link down in the description and it's live on text and this searches for designs that means someone owns the right to it and if you post a design with just that says just do it on your T public account and maybe you think it's fine T public is gonna not like that if they see that they're gonna shut it down and they might actually not post any of your designs at that point but you need to be aware of your designs and you want to make sure that they are yours truly. So even if you're using a tool like Placeit, you could easily write just do it when you're using Placeit and it would still be a problem because you're writing a saying that is trademarked. So even though you're using a tool like Placeit, which makes everything commercially usable, perfect, you still need to be aware of sayings and, you know, different texts. The way things you're putting in your titles and tags can affect this. They can set off red flags, so be careful. Don't get too cute with keywords and try not to make your designs rip off anyone else's brand or any other saying. Do your due diligence, double check, and if you think something or if you know something is not truly yours, then don't post it, just it's not worth it. Keep the integrity of your account and post designs that are 100% yours. Alright, so now that we're sure that your guys' designs are completely and 100% yours, the next option that you can do, which worked for me in some of my designs, is go ahead and go to your storefront. And if you don't have any albums yet, also, don't look at this storefront example. Make sure you have your icon uploaded, so a logo or a picture of, you know, something that represents you, and then make sure you have a banner definitely those two are important make sure you have those two and you want to make sure you have probably at least 10 to 30 designs bare minimum before you start checking and once you have like 30 designs you got your icon you got your cover photo I know this account doesn't have them but I'm my other account this is what I had to do and then once you have those all set and you have like 30 designs go to the top here and go to manage album and then you're gonna create a new album and what I did is I created a few albums on my other account. So cool designs, create an album, put some designs in it, and then 
do put like if you have 30 designs put like eight and a couple albums so like eight and three albums and then put like the rest in a fourth album called other even and then just put every single one you upload into that album so i went back and did this for 1700 designs and it only took me like 10 minutes you just check 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 next page and a little tip at the top in the url bar it's going to say what page you're on so when you're scrolling to so if you have like tons of pages i don't have any pages on this account but you can't really tell which page you're on but if you look at the top you can see what page it's on and then you can click the next page at the bottom and then it takes like 10 minutes you can add tons of designs and then you just click save album at the end so after you have some albums created four to five albums whatever really you want make sure all your designs are in an album even if it's just more designs something like that you're gonna have to wait about two to three days before they actually get to the marketplace at least that's what i've been told and in my experience the one design i did or the couple designs i did put in albums have gotten views and traffic and i can search them on the google analytics so that's a plus side it's already working a bit because i did do it yesterday and it takes a while for all your designs to get up there but this is a way to actually move your designs from somewhere where they can't be searched to a position where they actually can be searched and then after you do that um, what you can do wait a few days then check your listing see if they're in the marketplace and if they're not go down here and click the contact us button under info then what you're gonna do is you are going to wait for it to load and click on the business related and then send them an email so put your first name email address and then a message about why your listings aren't showing up so here's an example message I wrote up tester Chester says hello I was recently looking for my own designs in the marketplace but they don't seem to be showing up I have posted over 30 listings and I've added a cover photo profile photo and albums to my store but I still cannot see them is there anything I can do to make them visible in the marketplace thank you or whatever you want there and then my storefront is under underscore that's where you put your storefront name and kind of just something like this tell them what's going on tell them I can't see my designs I really don't know what else I can do is there anything I can do or anything you guys can do to make my designs visible in the marketplace before you send this email make sure all your designs uploaded are under fair use they are yours make sure you own the rights to them make sure you're not infringing on anyone's brands or infringing on any copyrights make sure double check and then after that send them this email if your designs are not showing up on the marketplace after you've waited two to three days of adding them to your albums and then if they get back to you that means it was a success you know give it some time be patient um, if they take a while that's okay a lot of people have this problem so I'm assuming I'm assuming they receive a lot of emails and I believe this email is to their community team and if it's not what you can also do if you don't if you get an automated response from this is email them directly um, at their community email so it should their community email should be located at the bottom here somewhere you'll probably be able to find it I'll leave it down in the description for you guys though their community email and you can pretty much same that send the same message over here to their community email if this business one doesn't go through so please 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 do not spam the comments I know it can be frustrating and key public shuts people's accounts down and all that but you want to make sure your designs are under your use 100% because anything like that's off is going to make T public not want to publish your listings and they also are pretty picky and I have heard about them terminating a lot of accounts I have not had any problems with T public as of yet but I did not realize that some of my designs were not showing up in the marketplace so if you guys are making sales some of your designs still might not be in the marketplace make sure you add them to albums and then if that doesn't work send them an email like this and if this email doesn't work send them an email to their community one which I'll leave down in the description so I hope you guys found this video helpful I'm not the guru of fixing all T public problems but this is what I have found from looking around on the internet this is what has worked for me personally and if you guys have any other suggestions on what you guys have done to fix your T public issues leave them down in the comments for other people to see that is greatly appreciated because I know people have different issues that these things haven't always fixed so I don't know any more solutions than this but I hope this guys I hope this helped at least a couple of you guys 
and if it did please leave a like on the video that would mean a lot to me but with all of that being said i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video